so shiny over mm -hmm. there. See that? Not only is it shiny. <laughs> Brothers from another mother. We go to the same uniform yeah. maker. So right. um, <laughs> we're how representing. How we're representing. Good job, man. Good to see good you, buddy. See you. Good Augie see you. Smith is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! He is headlining Yay! at the Funny Bone. This is going to be a good time. Funny, funny man. You put out a tweet a couple days ago. The robocalls from Ted Cruz are not correct. <laughs> They're not true. You are Ted here. Cruz is trying to keep you from my show. <laughs> no. He's afraid of my truth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them keep you away, Iowa. Come to the show anyway. They're not canceled. <laughs> wow, this must be just nice and easy pickings for you guys. This is the, the greatest time of the year. Isn't it? The, gre the greatest part of the political process, I hope we all agree, is the debates. Yeah. But not just the debate. It's that last two minutes of the debate where they ask him a really vague question, right? And they just give their own personal story. And they all try to out America <laughs> and out humble beginning each other. It's like, my grandfather came to this country 60 years ago from Havana, Cuba. He floated on the car door of a 1959 Buick Roadmaster in choppy waters after having punched Fidel Castro in the face, breaking a cigar across his commie nose. He worked in a slaughterhouse by day and another slaughterhouse at night. On his brakes, he slowed shaved ice to get us a place at the YMCA. My grandfather was frozen into a crevasse 8,000 years ago until he was thawed from the heat of the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire. I am the first in my family to not have a tail. I was illiterate until three hours ago. And now I stand before you as candidate to be president Yay! of the untied states. <laughs> The triangle You're hired. Oh, yeah, that's man. right. If you got I'm ready for the this. Fire, I'm ready. But it, it connects you with the common man if you <laughs> if you reference the shirtwaist. We're gonna make America skate again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the other thing. Finally. We all need to skate more. <laughs> There's some great places in town. You should go check them out. Oh, fine. Do, do you like to skate? Do you like to ice skate? Uh, I don't know. I, it's one of those things. I, I had the skill as a kid, but I don't have it now. Mm. Oh. Isn't that weird? Right. Yeah. It's like they say you never forget. No, I do. What do you think of that? <laughs> Maybe you never forget. <laughs> I can forget anything. Go ahead. Tell me something. <laughs> if they say your ankles aren't strong enough anymore. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, oh, I, ankles. What, I gotta work my ankles now? <laughs> Everything else going on in my life? Now I gotta worry about that? I got a baby and now I got weak ankles? Come on. <laughs> Oh, man, but you sound like you're having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah. No, I got a baby now. That's what I heard. I had a yeah. baby. When did that happen? Uh, well, this is 16 months now, so that would be, what, like a year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. Something like that happened. Oh, oh, my gosh, it's wonderful. But I never had one, and I'm an old, old guy with a baby, you know, yeah. Tony Randall. Over here. Uh, so I read the books. Here's the thing about, they all disagree. Every book disagrees, right? And I have a lot of questions. Like, like what? Hit him, don't hit him. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't hit, but I was raised by a single mother, right? Wasn't in her to hit me. Here's what she did do, and this is a good one. Uh, I was in fifth grade, I got thrown out of class, so she got mad at me. So she drove me down to the boys' club, and she signed me up to box. Oh, right? no. Yeah. Like, she wouldn't hit me, but she let her thugs do it for her. Right. Yeah. And they're like, ah, oh, these big 16 ounce gloves, man. It's like being in a pillow fight. Yeah, there were 16 ounces when the boys' club got their equipment during the Taft administration. <laughs> now it's like wrapping your hand in a bar towel. All I can feel are rings and fresh tattoos as I get pummeled every night. Did it make me tough? I don't know. I'm great at getting punched in the face. Is that tough? That's all you got. <laughs> that's, that's what I learned. That's what I got to tell you, kid. That's what I Learn. You need to write a book. Might as well. <laughs> How to get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> How to raise your kid. Get punched in the face. Oh, so you fun. had a kid. What else exciting news is happening? Uh, that's it. That's, that's it. all I got for you. That's I have nothing you else. That's a lot. I have yeah. nothing else. Yeah, Jason has three, so if yeah. you're looking for some advice. Three, that's, that's a lot. And I was 38 when we had twins, when the first first kids. Oh, so, yeah. and I'm sure those twins were planned on. Uh -oh. You're like, oh boy, I hope this is two they, instead of one. They, <laughs> no. <laughs> that about killed me. I've never been so tired for so long as when that happened. So I, I feel your pain. Do you dress them the same? She, my wife does a, a, n less and less, but but, yeah. but still, yeah, yeah, or it's similar. I, I think it's if, if I had twins, I would dress them the same. 
and I would have them jump rope in slow motion <laughs> inside of people's uh, doors a lot. I think that, uh, you gotta have fun. Just that, yeah, freak people fun. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just freak them out. Are you planning on having another one, or is uh, this a and, and we are. We are planning on having another one. Uh, the wife would like uh, three, and I wanted none. Uh, so we're going to compromise at three. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a carrying on. Yeah. 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 No. Negotiate with you, yeah. Because I hadn't been planning for this. I've been doing this job for 25 years. Mm -hmm. I've been traveling around doing stupid jokes. I wasn't ready to be a dad. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? Because here's the thing. The only thing, the thing I knew about our kids is the only thing worse uh, than the way these kids are being raised these days, right, is guys my age complaining <laughs> about the way these kids are being raised these days. Right? I'm one of those oh, guys. oh! <laughs> so you guys are too easy. Oh, to they're, they're so weak, aren't they? They're so, everything's so easy for them. Look at them with their time out. Time out! We always say that's not a real punishment. I mean, if you get in trouble as an adult in real life, it isn't like the government just takes you away from your stuff and locks you in a room for a set period of time until your sentence is over. No! The law spanks you! That's what what they do. They, they pull down your pants and they spank you. Sometimes That's literally. real life. <laughs> Time out. It's kids, they have it too. We're so afraid that they have anything we didn't. We're so afraid that it's a little bit easier. Oh, these kids, they don't even keep score during a t-ball game. Oh, yeah, during this. a t-ball game. How are the weak ever going to learn that they're no good? <laughs> Unless we build an enormous scoreboard in the middle of their favorite park and when they're trying to play a game with their friends, put a big zero <laughs> next to their name. We need to separate the winners from the losers. That's a move. Exactly. It sounds like a candidate. Absolutely. <laughs> it's important for kids to feel bad about themselves. And now sitting out here this morning. There you go. All right, it's 832. Stick around. He's not going anywhere. Augie Smith is back in just a couple minutes right here on Great Day.